Infolight, SF Pro, Adobe Audition, Adware, Audio Tool, Bitwig Studio, Cakewalk Sonar, Caustic, Digital Performer, FL Studio, Fairlight, GarageBand, Crystal, Logic Pro, Machine, Magic Samplitude, Mixcraft, Mixbus, Mulets, Muse, Antrack, Synapse, Pro Tools, Pyramix, Reaper, Renoise, Reason, Soundtrack Pro, Steinbeck Cubase, Steinbeck Nuendo. You guessed it, we're talking about DAWs. One of the first DAWs has actually become what is behind me, Pro Tools. But back then it was named Sound Tools. So Sound Tools was introduced in 1989 at January the 20th, if I'm correct. But it was, you know, a basic audio editor. And with basic, I mean, really, it wasn't even multi-track. It was like you, you can edit a stereo track, you know, cutting a piece of audio and removing it from it or replacing a piece of audio. Uh, and that was all it could, could do. And it also took hours upon hours to process it. So you can make a cut and, and put it together. And then you need to, to wait, you know, like a few hours before it was done processing and you can hear it back. So the cool thing about sound tools was also that it uh, was non-destructive. And non-destructive means that uh, you can do command Z. If we look at sound tools and uh, we are taking a step back into today's time, we still see a lot of parallels between those two. Sound tools had a small mixer in it. Uh, sound tools uh, did editing and actually almost in the same way that Pro Tools does audio editing right now. And if we look at other DAWs, they all have audio editing capabilities and they are all in the basics, they are all the same. The, Basics of a digital audio workstation or DAW is being a platform to support audio editing, plugins, MIDI, all that kind of crazy stuff. And the reason why there are so many DAWs on the market right now is because everybody wants to work a little bit different. You know, for me, I only work with audio and I need to route a lot of in and outputs to assign to my console or that kind of stuff and it needs to do it all with low latency, but I'm not interested in plugins. I'm really not interested in MIDI and stuff, and that's why I use Pro Tools. MIDI capabilities in Pro Tools are completely shit, and, and you know, it's, it's a bitch to work with MIDI and Pro Tools. In this way, there are also other DAWs, for instance, Ableton, which is great at doing MIDI, it's great at doing time stretching and working, uh, you know, on the grid and stuff. Uh, Logic is great uh, because it's, it integrates with the Apple platform really well and Fruity Loops has got a whole different approach at making songs. Um, so, so these are just a few DAWs and so every DAW has got its ups and downs and that's also how people choose DAWs. So this is just briefly, very basically what a DAW is. It's a platform for actually translating your creative ideas into something real, something touchable, something you can work on. And having the correct DAW for your work is really important. So I'm also thinking about making a video about how to really choose a DAW. Best thing is actually to, to just test it out and just download the demo and work with it. If you want such a video from me, let me know in the comments below. Right now, I don't have time, but if you really want a video, I can make a video about why you should choose a certain DAW. If you want me to make that video, leave a comment below and leave a like on this video and I will make it as soon as possible. Don't forget to share this video if you enjoyed it, if you learned something from it. It's really the basics of it. And um, yeah, I will hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.